How's it? For this project, we're going to break down the steps to make a Pikeler triangle. This is famous for babies and toddlers' uh, motor development, so let's do this! This project has three main components, the rails, the dowels, and the triangle. We wanted to give a visualization before we break down each step. Step 1. Let's focus on the pivot triangle, and here it is fully assembled on the piece. Now let's look at it amongst the other pieces and really focus on what we need to do. In the first detailed step, use the template provided in the summary to create the triangle with pilot holes for the assembly. Once the outline is drawn, cut out two triangles for the project. Side note, I'm using a 3 4 inch birch plywood for this. After cutting out, you're going to want to sand around the edges. Uh, I used from 60 to 400 grit. It's all about the detail, so if you don't have a compass, I actually use a 2.5 inch diameter measuring cup to round the triangle edges. After cutting out the triangles and smoothing them out, I clamped it together and used the template once again to make the pilot holes for the final assembly. Now you're done with the triangles. Step 2. Now we're going to focus on the rails. Again, let's start with the overview. We're going to cut out 8 pieces, 4 for the short legs and 4 for the long legs. We'll go over shortly why. First detailed step, using a 1x3 board, cut out 4 pieces of 36 inches and 4 pieces of 32 inches. These are for the rails. Now using a compass or the 2.5 inch circle tool that you use for the triangle, round all the edges of the rails that you cut out. Use a jigsaw to cut it out, and then use an orbiter sander uh, to smooth out the edges. Just a quick added step here, I actually wanted all my rail ends to be really equivalent to each other, so I clamped all four pieces together and sanded slash trimmed the edges. As you can see here, I actually did this for both the long rails and the short rails. Now that we completed our rails for shape and form, I'm going to use those triangles with those pilot holes in them as a guidance to where we should make the pilot holes for the dowels in the rails. Next detailed step, pilot holes for the dowels for the 36 inch and the 32 inch rails. For reference, we're going to be using those pilot holes to make 1 inch diameter holes for the dowels. You're first going to want to use the triangle that already has the pilot holes from the template and use those as the first two holes in the long rail. After that, each hole is about 5 inches and a quarter from each other. For the shorter 32 inch rail, you're going to actually start with a hole 2 inches from the top and then have each hole subsequently 5 inches and a quarter from each other. Now back to why we cut 4 pieces of the long rail and 4 pieces of the short rail. We're going to want to make these 1 inch diameter holes in the rails. I don't have a drill press so I can't determine the exact depth of these holes or nor can I make them as straight as possible. All I have is a spade bit so I'm actually going to just blow right through one of the pieces of wood. Therefore I don't have to worry about the depth of the hole that I make. All I know is that when I glue two pieces together, that I'll have a hole exactly halfway deep. As you can see, we use those pilot holes from before and then use our spade bit to make the 1 inch holes. After making the 1 inch holes for the dowels, you're going to take those pieces and glue them together. As you can see here, I took one leg that had holes in it and one without and then basically just glued them together with wood glue. Again, with this process, I didn't need to use a 2x3 and then estimate the depth of my holes. I just had a 1x3 and made holes all the way through. And here it is, your two short rails and your two long rails. Just a quick tip here, after gluing the rails together, I just use an orbiter sander to just smooth out the edges. The last component of the Pikeler Triangle is the dowels. Here I actually ordered these from Amazon which came in 36 inch lengths. I decided to shorten them to 32 inches because I wanted my Pikeler Triangle to take up less space in the house. And there you go, your 13 dowels for the Pikeler Triangle. And now we have our three components, the rails, the dowels, and the triangle. Time to assemble! 
Actually, before assembling, you could actually do a finishing coat of linseed oil, which is safe for children, uh, to coat your Pikeler triangle. Uh, this will help preserve the wood a little bit longer. Okay, step five. Now gluing the dowels into the rails is the first detailed step. You're gonna wanna do this for both the short and long rails where you put glue inside the holes that you made and then actually put the dowels in. After inserting the dowels into the rails, you're gonna wanna clamp the ends together to get a good tight and solid seal. Uh, I didn't have long clamps, so I basically used a ratchet uh, and then kind of held them together overnight. Now we're going to want to attach the triangles to the assembled legs. To do so, you're going to use the triangle as a guide for the pilot holes. After that, use your 2.5 screws and slightly tighten them through the triangle holes so they protrude just a little bit. Then align that with the pilot holes you made and then screw in. Now we need to attach the shorter leg to the triangle. The template should already have pilot holes where the shorter leg should attach to. However, if not, you're going to want to make a pilot hole 3 fourths inches from the top. That hole will be 3 eighths inches wide. Then you'll make another pilot hole 2 inches from the first dowel. The hole will be half an inches wide. Here I'm just showing the 3 eighths inch hole on the top and the half inch hole on the bottom. And then we're done. We're going to use that 3 8 inch hole to add a screw lock nut combination and then a hitch pin on the bottom hole. The hitch pin makes it easy for me to remove and then easily collapse the Pikeler triangle and store away. So I want to add a little upgraded step. When my wife saw the Pikeler triangle, she thought it was too steep for our one year old. So she wanted me to make different levels uh, of the Pikeler triangle and so here we go. Here's an overall picture of our next steps. We're going to remove the lock nut, replace with the hitch pin, and we're going to make two other holes for different levels. Here we are looking at the original 3 8 inch hole that had the lock nut combination. You can also see a pencil trace line. This will be our guidance for the next holes. To do this, we're going to remove the lock nut but keep our hitch pin in. From there, we're going to put a pencil in the lock nut hole and basically use the hitch pin as a fulcrum to make that circular trace line. Now you should have two other holes for different levels of your Pikeler triangle. And there you go, we're done! That's your detailed steps for the Pikeler triangle. Hopefully I made it as easy as possible. In the comment section, let me know what you like, what you didn't, what I need to clarify. Seriously, thanks for joining in. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my projects.